Do you know what HIV is and how it can lead to AIDS? HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that attacks the body's immune system, specifically the T-cells that help fight off infections. Without enough of these cells, the body struggles to combat diseases and infections, which can lead to AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This is the final stage of an HIV infection where the immune system is so damaged it can't fight off opportunistic infections and diseases. Understanding the relationship between HIV and AIDS is crucial, as it's the key to prevention. HIV is not a death sentence, it's a manageable condition with the right treatment and care. But how does one contract HIV? It's primarily transmitted through certain body fluids that contain the virus, including blood, semen, vaginal and rectal fluids, and breast milk. Knowledge is the first step towards prevention. By understanding HIV, we can prevent its spread and live healthier, longer lives. So, how is HIV transmitted? Let's dive into the common modes of HIV transmission. Firstly, unprotected sexual contact is the most common route. HIV can be transmitted through vaginal, anal or oral sex with an infected person. Using barrier methods like condoms significantly reduces the risk, but it's important to remember that no method is 100% effective. Secondly, sharing needles or syringes contaminated with infected blood is another mode of transmission. This is particularly prevalent among people who inject drugs. The virus can live in a used needle up to 42 days depending on temperature and other factors, making it a significant risk. The third mode is mother-to-child transmission. An HIV-positive mother can potentially pass the virus to her child during pregnancy, childbirth or breastfeeding. However, antiretroviral therapy, or ART, can greatly reduce the risk of this type of transmission. Next, we have blood transfusions or organ transplants. While this risk is extremely low in countries where donations are rigorously screened for HIV, it has been a mode of transmission in the past. Lastly, occupational exposure. Healthcare workers can be at risk of HIV transmission through accidental needle sticks or contact with infected blood. Universal precautions, including the use of protective gear and safe needle practices, are essential to minimize this risk. Understanding these modes of transmission is crucial in the fight against HIV, but it's equally important to know how to protect yourself. Practice safe sex, limit your number of sexual partners, and get tested regularly. Knowledge is power. If you inject drugs, always use clean needles and syringes, and never share them. If you're at high risk, consider pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, a medication that can prevent infection. If you're HIV positive, taking antiretroviral medications as prescribed can suppress the virus to undetectable levels, reducing the likelihood of transmission. Pregnant women with HIV should take antiretroviral medications to prevent transmission to their child, and in countries where blood and organ donations aren't routinely screened for HIV, it's essential to ensure safe blood practices. Knowing these modes of transmission can help us prevent the spread of HIV. After all, prevention is the best cure. How can you protect yourself and others from HIV? This question is crucial to tackling the spread of this virus. Let's start with safe sex. Consider this the cornerstone of HIV prevention. Using condoms consistently and correctly, particularly if you have multiple sexual partners or are uncertain about your partner's HIV status, can significantly reduce your risk of exposure. Next, consider limiting the number of your sexual partners. This step could further decrease your chances of contracting or spreading HIV, as well as other sexually transmitted infections. In line with this, regular HIV testing is key, especially if you're sexually active. Knowledge is power, and knowing your HIV status and that of your partner can lead to informed decisions about protection. Now let's talk about needles. If you use needles for any reason, always ensure they are clean and sterile. Sharing needles or syringes can lead to HIV transmission, so avoiding this practice is paramount in protecting yourself and others. For those at a higher risk of HIV, there's a medication called pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP. PrEP can help prevent the virus from establishing a permanent infection if an HIV-negative person is exposed to the virus. It's particularly recommended for those with an HIV-positive partner, those engaging in high-risk sexual behaviors, or individuals who inject drugs. Now, if you are HIV-positive, adhering to antiretroviral therapy or RT is vital. These medications, when taken as prescribed by your healthcare provider,
can suppress the virus to undetectable levels in your body. This makes it significantly less likely for you to transmit HIV to others. Remember these protective measures are not just about you, they're about the people around you too. Your partners, your family, your friends. HIV is a global challenge, and it requires a global response. That response begins with individual actions, your actions. Being proactive can significantly reduce your risk of contracting or spreading HIV. So take charge, protect yourself and protect others. Together we can make a difference in the fight against HIV. Did you know that HIV can be transmitted from a mother to her child? This transmission can occur at various stages, during pregnancy, childbirth or even breastfeeding. But before we dive into despair, there's a silver lining. The risk of transmission can be significantly decreased with the appropriate medical intervention. Here's how it works. When a woman is pregnant, the HIV virus in her blood can cross over into the baby's bloodstream through the placenta. This is why it's so important for expectant mothers to know their HIV status and receive treatment if necessary. During childbirth, a baby can be exposed to HIV in the mother's blood and other fluids. This is of particular concern in cases of vaginal birth, where the baby comes into direct contact with these fluids. Breastfeeding can also be a route of transmission, as breast milk from an HIV-positive mother can contain the virus. But don't worry, mothers living with HIV can still provide their children with the benefits of breast milk through heat-treated expressed milk or donor milk. Now let's talk about prevention. Antiretroviral therapy, commonly known as ART, can be a game-changer. When taken as prescribed, these medications can lower the amount of HIV in a mother's body to undetectable levels. This greatly reduces the risk of passing the virus to the baby during pregnancy, childbirth and breastfeeding. With medical intervention, the risk of mother-to-child transmission can be greatly reduced. So, let's spread the word and make sure expectant mothers are aware and have access to these life-saving interventions. Healthcare workers also need to protect themselves from HIV. How? You may ponder. Well, the risk of occupational exposure to HIV is a reality that healthcare professionals face daily. This risk, though often overlooked, is very real and can occur through accidental needle sticks or contact with infected blood. Universal precautions are a set of safety measures designed to reduce this risk. These precautions are not just guidelines but a fundamental part of healthcare practice. They include the use of protective gear such as gloves, gowns, masks and eye protection, which provide a barrier between the healthcare worker and potential sources of infection. Another critical part of these universal precautions is safe needle practices. Safe needle practices mean never recapping used needles, immediately disposing of used needles and other sharp objects in appropriate puncture-proof containers, and always using a new sterile needle for each patient. But it doesn't stop there. Regular hand washing, cleaning and disinfecting surfaces, and proper waste disposal are also vital components of preventing occupational exposure to HIV. In essence, these precautions aim to treat all blood and other potentially infectious materials as if they are infected with HIV or other blood-borne pathogens. This approach ensures that healthcare workers stay protected at all times. In healthcare settings, safety precautions are crucial to prevent the spread of HIV. Remember, when it comes to HIV prevention, it's not just about protecting yourself, but also about protecting those around you. Why is early detection of HIV so important? Well, let's delve into that. Early detection plays a pivotal role in managing HIV. It's akin to nipping the problem in the bud. The sooner you know your status, the quicker you can start treatment, and the better your chances are of living a long, healthy life. Regular testing is invaluable. It allows you to stay on top of your health and take necessary precautions to prevent the spread of the virus. It's like having a roadmap, guiding you on the path of well-being. If you test positive, don't fret. It's not the end of the road. Accessing medical care promptly can make a world of difference. With the right treatment, HIV can be managed effectively, keeping the virus under control and preventing it from progressing to AIDS. Remember this mantra. Early detection is key in managing HIV and preventing its spread. What can you do to protect yourself and others from HIV? Let's revisit the steps. Practice safe sex, use condoms, limit your number of sexual partners, regularly get tested and know your partner's HIV status. If you're using needles, ensure they're sterile. Consider pre-exposure prophylaxis if you're at high risk, and if you're HIV positive, antiretroviral therapy can help you live a healthier life. 
while also greatly reducing the chance of passing the virus to others. Pregnant women, you have the power to prevent mother-to-child transmission through medical care and antiretroviral medications. And to our healthcare workers, always follow occupational safety precautions. Remember, an essential part of this fight is early detection and access to medical care. If you're engaging in behaviors that may put you at risk, please consult with a healthcare professional for advice and testing. Remember, you have the power to prevent HIV. Get tested, know your status, and make informed decisions. Together we can stop the spread of HIV.